Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Pocket Captains Presents Starbase Orion. Now, last episode, it was me just basically, you know, getting used to starting up a game, and uh, here's me going a little deeper into the game tonight. I've started a few planets, a little bit of colonizations going on here. Um, I'm just beginning to get my head around something that uh, Jux is my home world, as far as I know. It seems to be this purpley color. The other worlds around. I guess we're going to find out if that's my color. I'm going to try i got a colony ship here. According to the notification I got when I started the game, colonization opportunity in Ashira. It was as far as I remember, that was my goal. So let's colonize. I could have sworn I did this in the last game. Did I not colonize this planet already? I thought I did. Maybe I'm just a little bit nutsy. Um, my builds. This is going to be, I think it's a research world. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. I'm wondering if I should go ahead. The build focus should be research, of course. Ancient training, agent training camp. Uh, I don't think I want to produce covert operatives yet. Maybe that's a mistake. See, that's it. Newbies. Cancel. Build. See what I can build here. Colony ships. Civic funding. Economic courting. Economic funding. Colony. A star base would be a good idea. And so would hydroponics. I'm thinking it, if I build hydroponics here, it makes less of a strain of food back home. Maybe it's something I should add to all the worlds. Just to say, well, if they're not, you know, farming, maybe we can do research. But a star base might be a good idea, too, for local defense. Um, should I take a gamble on a hydroponics first? Maybe I will. Let's turn that off. And then we'll add a star base after that. Done. There we have it. Or should I work on maybe population growth? You know what? There's an interest. That's 80 turns. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. And we'll go, oh, military? Colony ship? No, no, I don't want ships. And marine barracks? Nope. Uh, and nope, nope, nope. Farming, economic, economic, civic. Let's try civic. Done. Let's make babies. I don't know. Do we have the chance to... I mean, in the other games... What I'm used to is being able to build houses, and that increases your reproductive rate. I don't know how that works in this game. We'll take a look. I'll come back and look at these guys in a minute as I learn more about this game. But there, we have another colony. Things are moving. I've got this warship to protect it, and I have a scout ship to explore on, and I think there might be something at the Yellow World, so we're going to take a look. We have a scout ship here that made it back alive. So they're going to go on and explore. So we're branching out and looking around. Ten turns to our next big discovery. That's a good thing. I think it was research that was coming up. We haven't covered much of the map yet. We're about to go into the middle sector. I haven't finished exploring my own sector, but, you know, I'm a I'm like that. I'm going to go wandering. So let's, uh, without a further avail, so it turns out I'm going to be the blue guys. Empire status. Let's see what's going on here. Civic funding. Now, can I move people from one world to another? Yes. Yes. How about that? You can move people from planet to planet. That's very Master of Orion right there. That's a nice touch. See, civic funding, zero turns. Economic hoarding, zero turns. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Chucks three. What have you got? Maybe it's time we did build something. Let's go for hydroponics. Get rid of that. Economic hoarding. Done. Back. Jux Prime. One of you guys was a uh, mineral rich. You're the mineral rich world. And you're one of three pop. We'll put another guy on that world. Two guys? It's going to slow down my research, though, a lot. 
You're gonna build me. Another colony ship. Done. Time I got on with building colony ships, I think. So I'm gonna try to take a stab at Are these guys all building a hydroponic center? No, probably not. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna start working at building up. Yeah, some res some resourcing here. Colony, everybody, hydroponics. 12 turns, that's pretty good, done. Let's stop fooling around. Let's start building some things. Let's uh, get courageous. Food is good. Let's move him over to here. Let's start building hydroponics in this world too. Why not? It'll take forever. That's okay. 27 turns. Good. I wonder why hydroponics is not actually being built on high, according to this, it's zero turns on Jux 3. So Jux 3, why? What's going, what's taking so long? You've got industry. You've got Marines, you've got surplus food. I'm gonna keep an eye on you, Jux 3. Okay, so let's try another turn as I learn my way through this game. Remember, I haven't played this game before. Oh, we have a loss of money. Jux 3 has finished building hydroponics. Next is economic hoarding. Archaeologist uncovered improved star drive on Nashira. Well, there you are. That's pretty nice. Um, I thought I was working on Research Center. Oh, maybe this is like a look at the star drive. Additional refinements. Oh, okay. Now stick to research. Thanks. Done. Uh, so I have a hydroponic center, which is more food. So let's look at the empire now. That's more guys for research. Nope. Mistake. Because then I went to... I lost too many guys there. So they're going to build... Yeah. The significant boost to speed on Jux. Three. It's a desert. Colony ships still coming. Only three guys on that world, unfortunately. Rich or not, it's having a little struggle. Still waiting for people to show up over there. We have a little financing issue. Even with economic hoarding. Oh, I could buy these. That's what the dollar signs. I think the dollar signs are the right mean. I can borrow, buy this stuff. So let's go ahead. See what our ships are looking like. They're on their route. Next turn will arrive. Very exciting. Military conflict erupted at Zavija. Sorry, Zavijava. New star system at Gragnus. Grangus? Ancient rules discovered on Zavijava. Plus three RP per colony. For the colony, new technology when colonized. Wormholes discovered. New star system. One colonist arrived. One colonist has arrived. Hey, there's some good news. So let's see what's going on at Zavijava. Ooh. Terran world, large, mineral poor. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this other one? Ancient rules, very rich, huge, arid. See, this is the kind of thing I would have a monster at. So let's go resolve the battle. And this is between me and another one of these space amoebas. Let's go ahead and scroll to the right. Keep maximum hold position, evasion, retreat. Yep. From that. Uh, from the largest ship. There's a lot of nice commands here. All right, let's run away. And, uh, yep. That's a nice looking ship. Pointed the other way. I think I would have done it the other way. The rockets, so the pointy part is in the front instead of the back. But anyway, still a nice looking ship. Really nice design here. I'm I'm really impressed. I wonder what it would take to destroy these guys. See, that's the thing. With Orion, I knew. But with this game, I don't know. And look at that. Oh, that's the wormhole. Okay, so that line between Zavi Java and the other yellow planet must be the wormhole. Now there's Grangus. Grangus. What a lovely name. Medium, poor, radiated. Mm-hmm. Toxic, small, and rich. Ooh, sign me up for that. 
Well, maybe not. Maybe that's a that's something to hold for a rainy day. Okay. Out of fuel range. So I cannot get to the date grayed out ones. That'll keep us under control. En route to unknown. And I think we have to wait for that battle to resolve before I get my scout back to continue exploring. So I can put this other colony ship to good use. I feel a little bit like I should be doing something with it. And, uh... Huge, abundant. See, Markab 2 isn't bad. Maybe I should just drop it on a Markab 2. Keep growth going. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Maximize all my resources. Empire-wise. Oh, yeah, the guys have arrived. Hi, guys. Food is in good shape. You guys can... What kind of an impact does that have, anyway? 25 down to 11. That's a pretty substantive in impact. That didn't help the econ economics of the situation. What's going on here? Colonial maintenance, food distribution, cost of spies, total empire income. So, cost of spy, food distribution, I'm hoping to resolve. Colonial maintenance, I'm not sure what to say about that, except maybe those hydroponic centers cost money. Is it a returning a better investment? Then, should these guys have a hydroponic center? They have a hydroponic center. Hmm. So they're making their own food. Okay. So let's go back and uh, let's hit another turn. See what happens next. Conflict at Zavijava. One of my ships fled and we'll rendezvous back at Nishira. Colonization opportunity at Markab. New star system explored at Rastaban. Ooh, I love the name, Rastaban. Uh, huge or small, I'll take huge all day long. Let's build colony. Hydroponics, please. And then a star base. Done. And that's that. Now, this world's a bit further back than my others, so I'm not going to rush out and send colonists over there. I still need that research. I want my research. Uh, I mean, it'll boost my research when I get the this research finished, so it makes sense for me to let it finish. I'm hoping there's an equivalent to automated factories I can build after that to maybe speed up my, my building time. So we'll see how that goes. So Rastaban, what's going on there? Barren, medium, normal. Hmm. Middle of the road. Hope they have something like terraforming in this game. So all those other worlds appear to be grayed out to me. Except for this one way down to the south. Yep, I can't seem to reach those ones. So I guess I'm going to boot it over there. Although that wormhole, maybe I can't go down the wormhole, though, until after I take Zavajiva. But I still have one more world to explore by that scout ship that's running away with its tail between its legs. The new colony ship won't be available for a while anyway. So there's time. And I think I've run successfully away. Oh, no, 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 no. You stay here. Only the scout ship goes. No, no, no. You cancel. No, no, don't. don't. I said the curtain stays here. Thank you. The scout goes there. That's better. So, pretty intuitive controls, but I have to be vigilant about what I'm pressing. I heard the one guy say that, well, look at that, actually. There's a lot more bright yellow plants. Oh, but they're not bright when I go to click on the ship because they're out of range. There's the illusion I can reach them, but in fact, I really can't. Someone was writing that they play this on an airplane rides, and I'm thinking now, yeah, I could do this. 
This, I've been wanting a Master of Orion 2 to be ported to the iPad. This seems to be a really good port with some really nice graphic upgrades. I kind of like microwaving the battles, though. That is a downside. I mean, it's neat that I can give orders. I actually thought that if I was going to do this, that's what I would do. Having seen it now, I may not, but I don't blame him because I had the exact same idea. I would have done it in his position. I had intended actually to try. I tried several times, but uh, this person clearly has a lot more skills than I do for designing games. I'm pretty. I, I'm a programmer. I can do this sort of stuff, but I'm going to give credit where it's due. This is some good coding. And coding for the iPad is not a cakewalk. Um, so Malta looks to me like it's in some kind of a nebula. I wonder if there's any notes about Malta being in a nebula. Okay, let's try clicking on this world again. It doesn't say anything about the... No, what are this little... Okay, on the lower panel, it's just Star System Malza. On the right-hand side, there's an eye, an arrow, and a little sideways a back, a lying on its back E. Let's see what this does. I. That's my fleet information. Okay. The little arrow... Oh, for fleet routing. Okay, cancel. And the little E made it go away. Come back, little ship. Come back. Where did you go? Okay. Okay. And the little E's back. Okay. So that was interesting. Learning new stuff all the time. But that ship is also heading to that world, so I don't need to duplicate the effort. And I don't think I can reach this one without the wormhole. So, I am now capped by what I can do based on the worlds I've been able to reach. So, if I want to extend my fuel range, well, maybe I won't decide this until I reach the next planet. Let's just go ahead. I'm a little worried about my economic situation because I don't know what to do about it. I, oh, the economic situation has improved. Is it because of economic hoarding? Or, oh, it stockpiles production against the next project. It doesn't mean it's making money. Economic funding. Done. Economic funding turns things into economic hoarding. Allows us to build the next project faster. Okay. So now I'm learning something. So there's economic funding there. But there was also farming there. That works too. Take some more of the strain off by having them just produce their own food. Excellent. Okay. I have absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. Now when you get upgraded hydroponics, I'm wondering, does that replace the building or is it an additional building? Inquiring minds are already asking. See, the populations are growing. 31,000 on Ashira Prime. Looking at the lower left-hand corner below the 3 8 mark. It says 3 8 population. How do I speed that up? Is there an equivalent of housing? I don't know. Meanwhile, that ship is still arriving. One more term to the last yellow planet. We'll see if it has any potential. Something I have to jump all over. Heavy armor plating from a derelict ship orbiting Gomesia to new star system explored in Gomesia. Okay. Terran. Capacity 5, population 12. See, this is the world I need. Rich. Oh, this is nice. Perfect. Gomesia is the next target for, and that will extend my exploration to the south. But no further into the middle of the map until I can deal with the amoebas. So, of the two, Gomesia is definitely, Gomisa, Gomisa is definitely my next destination. I'm putting a couple scouts there just in case something gets funny ideas about taking it before I get there. Looking in my empire, colony ship is 19 turns. Now, there's one I would like to speed up. Economic funding is good. I'm okay with the money situation. If all Jux Prime does is... Economic funding. 
I'm still in surplus, but I've just boosted my research. That works. That works for me just fine. Hydroponics are coming. Markab. 24,000. Nope, I'm going to leave you alone, Markab. I mean, I could double... One guy less in research here makes that go one turn longer. But I'm going to let that finish, and I'm going to send him over because that doubles down on the production speed if I get two guys on there. So, roughly, that's... There's probably a more complex formula than that, but... Something happened? Nope. So what's going on? Hydroponics in two. Colony ship in 17. Really painful. Um, I would like that world to than that. What would happen if I use Jux 3? Build. Military. Colony ship. Done. 11 turns. Back. Two turns to research. Okay, research finished. Then we'll ump up the colony ship. We'll ramp up Markab. Turn. One. Your scientists unlock the secrets of research. And the Shira Prime finished hydroponics. So we have some work to do. Ah, uh, of course. That's also my research world. Okay, you guys. There's limited things they can build there. Do I want to waste one of those spaces on a research center? That's a new wrinkle. Five buildings. Actually, five buildings isn't bad. Yeah. Go ahead and build me a research center. Done. I'm all over that. Now, Jux 3 should also be building that research center, but they're building a colony ship. Bless them. So let's move one over here. Speed up the colony ship. Move one guy over to this other world and speed up. Yeah. Speed up that hydroponic center. My research on this world will be down to a crawl. But we're going to add research center right after the colony ship is done. Because the other colony ship is just too slow without productivity. Back. Economic funding is taking a beating. But it's only temporary. Research. Okay. This is my summary. Research in the lower right. Okay. So now... Hmm. Research center two. Plus two. That sounds nice. Hydroponics plus four. SCIF. Scientific compartmented information facility. SCIF helps extend the reach of your spy network to areas beyond your colony. Ships equipped with a skiff orbiting stars can be strategically placed to increase your contact ratings with other empire. Limited one ship, one per ship and one per orbiting fleet. Okay, but I got my eye on efficient factories. Increasing worker capability, combat engines, point defense, gas, that's, that's for the ships. Something, expolitics. Advances in leader management allow your empire to recruit up to three leaders. Okay. Trade port. Increasing commerce. Your researchers will join a galaxy-wide network of doctors and scientists curing diseases, increasing population growth. I see. Starbase 2. Improved star drive. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the factories because i got to build this stuff. So that's 45 turns. That's what you call pain. Still, those research centers will be coming soon, and they should help. Nashira Empire. What were you building? Um, how about a research center? Oops, research and starbase. Done. So, because eventually they're going to reach a population point where they can build me, uh, do some research too, which will help out. That will be a research world. So, I think that'll do it. I haven't got to the point yet where I have to start thinking about military, I don't think. I still want to get to Gamisa. So, let's keep going. 44, 
One colonist arrived at Markab. That's good. What kind of an impact? It had an excellent impact on hydroponics. Insofar as it might actually arrive sometime in my lifetime. Colony ships. And research center. I, I mean, I can't speed it up. I could buy it. But my economic situation is already pretty tenuous. And these research centers are going to cause... I think there's going to be a cost... Uh, one GC to per turn to maintain. So there's a cost for having them. Losing more money. Jux 3 finished building colony ship. That's the good Jux we know. There's my colony ship and it's on its course to Gamisa. I mean... The best way I know to increase my income is to have more people doing more things. The problem is, I gotta make money now, somehow. And Gamisa, have we got more people on the Shira than I last looked? Did we get a population growth? We did. We have growth on the Shira. That's good news. As is the research center on Jux. I think they're growing. I haven't noticed, but I think our population has grown. And that is very good. We're down to 31 turns. And that makes me very happy. I think we'll keep it at three turns. We're having some research come along. And that makes things go much better. Let's keep going. Back. Of course, our cost of living is going to go up. Turn. Probably minus three. Minus three. Empire. They're now building a starbase. I wonder what the cost of a starbase is. Two GCs. <sighs> Uses no lots. But I think it's important for our defense. I may actually use these. These spy bases seem to be important. Maybe we'll use Jux Prime as a star bit as our spy center. I have to think about reactivating the economics there, though. We have another colony ship coming in eight turns. So, Jux 2, that's your job. You're building colony ships. Congratulations. Research is positively impacted. No, nope, we'll let that one finish. Back. Turn. Oh, I could touch the screen to can stop that. Okay. Research center is built, but I'm not in a hurry for that agent camp. So let's move that over there. Uh, minus four now. Um, that's a bigger ouch. So after you guys have finished this, I'm going to switch you from economic hoarding to economic funding. You guys will be funding the, the Empire until further notice. Good job. We're all proud of you. Surplus food in the Empire. But when I move that to balance it, my costs have gone up. But research is coming faster. Turn. 13 turns. My economy is balanced. Research center is built. That seems to have worked out well. Hydroponic center is being built. Agent training center, whatever that does is being built. I may have one on Jux 3 though. Nope, I have hydroponics. I'm wondering if you used to strategic scrapping as part of this. I'm gonna find out. So I haven't quite got a full screen yet. Oh, that's, that's me. I'm a good looking bird chick. So, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Somebody has come to Rastaban. Which wasn't a bad planet. That might actually end up being my next world just to build a buffer between Jux. I can't have worlds. I mean, there's Grangus. Yeesh, toxic. Radiated. 
Rastaban may be the world and it might produce a trading opportunity for me. We'll see. He's definitely within sensor range. Colonization opportunity at Gomisa. Taran, colonize. Please do. Yes. Excellent. Build for me, please. So many good things. It's going to be hydroponic research and starbase. Hydroponic research, starbase. Done. That will take you, oh, I don't know, a thousand years. Back. That ship has arrived at Rastaban. Scout class vessel. In the meantime, I have, I think, the opportunity to expand and explore. One here. One there. Those are the next two worlds. We're going to hold off on worrying about Rastaban. I could send the curtain up there. To Grangus, maybe. Make my presence felt in case he can reach that world. Okay. Okay. Turn. That ship moved on. Arcab and Perseus. Isn't Arcab a master of Orion world? I'm trying to remember. What's Arcab got? Toxic, small, and rich. Radiated, medium, and poor. Again, nothing too exciting. Perseus. Barren, medium, abundant. You know, it's okay. Oh, what's this? Titus's fleet orbiting Regulus. We've encountered another people. Way outside my range. I can't get there. I know that ship up there is in range of me. So let's send another... If I go to Rastaban next, I'm going to need a scout ship to do some exploring. And I'm going to keep a scout ship down there to keep an eye on Regulus. Hmm. Yep. We are starting to make things interesting now. The Empire is progressing well. Research is coming on something very important. Construction, which I think is going to change the face of star bases. Hydroponics. Hydroponics at Gomisa. That's charming. Let's move you over here, which creates a short plus, uh, shortage of food. Okay, training camp is coming. That agent training camp might become more important very soon. For now, I like the money balance, though. I don't really want to mess that up. It's taking three of my guys just to keep the economy chugging. That's going to change as some of these technologies come in. Hydroponics. That's where my economy is taking a turn. Oh, that's right, but we have more food now. That's good. Done. Empire. So, we have extra food. Can I take somebody out of there now? Without screwing up my economy? That's a hold your own kind of a maneuver. Mm -hmm. Just barely holding my own. Starbase, Starbase. See, those Starbases are too slow. I'm in desperate crying need of that production. I would love to send somebody up to Gomisa, but unfortunately, I need the research. So I'm not going to risk it yet. I'm going to hang on, let Gomisa struggle on its own. Keep an eye on this ship. Twill. Oh, look at this. I can see more ship stuff now. Essex. Twill. And he's heading to something up there. It's probably his home world. Yep, Rastaban needs to be the world. It will invite conflict. Colony ship. Now, you took forever. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. You took forever to build that colony ship. Build me another one. You are not going to be my shipyard, that's for sure. Markav, on the other hand, is not going to be it either. So far, my best 
for mineral rich is Jux 2, and it's terrible. Or Jux 3. Actually, my home world isn't bad. Nashira Prime was going to be my uh, research colony. It's got ancient ruins, but it's also mineral rich too. Worth considering, it might have to be my shipyard for the time being. Interesting decisions. Let's hope that, that research comes in quickly. Yep. Command points are growing. Galactic credits are difficult. Production, technology, planets colonized, and a little guy eating coins. Ah, an emperor list agency. I got two spies defending. That's nice. That's reminiscent of the old Master of Orion 2 as well. So good. All ships on course for Rastaban. Which we know the enemy can reach. Something interesting is going on here. Somebody has decided to visit Grangus. Curtain will go to Rastaban. You can't reach Rastaban? So the scouts of the colony ships can go further than that ship there, which is a. Was it a destroyer? It's a destroyer. What does it have under the hood? Three lasers. Well, I'm not sure I'd want to go to war with that. Do I start thinking about better ships? Colonization opportunity at Rastaban. Colonize. Not because I want this world particularly. It's a strategic decision for the protection of the Empire. Starbase, please. Done. Back. As fast as you can build that. I'm betting. I'm gambling. They don't have any more ability to defend that thing than I do. You go here. Hold that world. Whatever is doing this explore is a scout ship, I think. Yeah, it's a scout. Let him come. Now, I'm theoretically in range. Does that mean I can have a conversation? Nope, we haven't encountered one another. I guess in this game, I have, it's not enough to be in fuel range. I have to actually go there. But we'll find out. Ah! Vitellius. Unpredictable, vast, slow as sloths, repulsive, huge homeworld, shared intelligent, borderline genius. So they're clever monkey. We're amiable. Fleets and fortifications will attack, but military encounters should be avoided to prefer, preserve foreign relations. Relationships. They're annoyed. Improve your relations with this empire by maintaining peace, entering packs, or giving gifts. Okay. An audience. Let's try a treaty. Non-aggression. Confirm. Farewell. Back. We are a peaceful race of bird women. I don't like it if he goes to Grangus either. I'm hoping that Grangus is rather inhospitable and Lyra certainly isn't one you want to rush out and grab I might I don't know do they have radiation shields in this game see that's the thing you have a certain familiarity when you play Master of Orion 2 you just kind of get to know all the technology and all the capabilities but you're playing new and you're like well I'm, I'm gambling if I take these worlds because I don't know if I have the technology to address the problems so we'll keep going until we get to this end of this research there's Regulus. He's got a colony ship ready to go. Got to keep an eye on that. Where's that going? Now I see his little face there. That's cute. Hey, we're buddies. Not, I have to remember not to... What the heck is that? 
I'm sorry. Uh, let's go back out again. This. Oh. Some sort of a conflict is going on between that little yellow ship and that little amoeboid ship. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to go to his worlds because that would be considered rude. But I can go to this one. Keep up uh, my exploration. Hmm. It's not his world, so I don't know who's fighting that battle. Because I think I see all of his worlds on the map. Now I'm going to try to expand down south a bit to reach Regulus. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, sorry. I don't want you to come down here. Thank you. That would mean this one, probably. Perseus. Because our cab is rich. Not very big. Doesn't have the attraction. Okay. So let's take a look at the empire. This is a Master of Orion habit. Keep going back. Check out your empire. Three turns. Now I want to know is if I drop a uh, industry on top of these things, do I lose all the points in the star base? I knew the answer again in the old game. We foresee you bidding strongly to hire us. Governors Faye and Faye and available for hire. Oh. Plus 10% morale. 10% to each planet. Reveals the location of all fleets on the galactic map. Minimum bid. 100 galactic credits. I don't have that. So thank you for playing. Oh, we have to bid on these guys. Interesting. Okay. I can't bid on them. There's a, too much activity going on there. Oh, I'm going there and he's going there. With his scout class vessel. Meantime, he's also at Gragness. Aren't you just a busy lad? Look at the size of your fleet. Your fleet is considerably bigger than mine. So I have to think about that. While economic funding is going on. Yeah, it should continue to go on. I'm a little lax or a little light in, in fleets. So I think for the next story, for the next show, we are definitely looking at making a ships. Bio-rich fungi discovered on Hez Prime. Okay, what's going on Hez? Barren huge, but biomorphic fungi. Sorry, bio-rich. Biomorphic was a different game. And another one of these space monsters. Let's get away. Orders. Retreat. Back. So now he's supposed to run away. And actually, that's kind of good that that's there because he can reach it and it's another barrier to him getting too close to my worlds. On the other hand, it's a world I could take later without causing offense. They should expect that. He's moving away from Grangus. I don't want to take Grangus. Yuck. One more turn till we have our new production. Meanwhile, colony ship's just sitting there. Interesting. We'll find out soon enough. Let's try working on some production. We fled! Your scientists have unlocked the secrets of efficient factories. Well, clever us. What are we researching? I would love a trade port. <laughs> because I'm a little tired of being broke. Interspecies medical network. Um, hmm. Heavy armor plating, nuclear missile, pacifist overhaul one. That's nice. Goss turret. Hmm. Mm hmm. 
Do I throw a Gauss turret on there? Nuclear missiles are simple enough. Factories 2 would be good. Research Center 2 would be good. That one's kind of inevitable. Efficient tax collectors. Hmm. Well. <laughs> Let's think... Weapons. Um, very long. Damage 8 slash 3. Tail dash 10. Let's throw some weapons on. This may be too soon, but let's have some fun with this game. Let's see now, because we have ships moving in and out of our system. We may go. Go away. Yep, we have ships coming and going. Kind of hope he gets destroyed. Um, Yeah, mean of me. I know. Bad guy. Let's see. Empire-wise. Let's go in here, and we're going to add efficient factories. Can I move them up in order? Done. 11 turns. Got to make sure that people have the slots for these things. He does. Colony. Efficient factories. I kind of think that's a necessity for everybody. Colony ship was 32. Done. Zero. So I think the colony ship got folded into that one. You guys, economic funding is going to take a hit for a bit while I add this. Done. Definitely taking a hit. Starbase. Sorry. Love the idea of a starbase, but you're definitely doing an efficient factory first. Because you guys are not going to get that done in my lifetime if I don't speed this up. Done. Mm hmm hmm Done. Let's see if these factories... I would like to have efficient factories too now that I'm looking at it. But anyway, let's start with um, <coughs> that level. So we've got our factories. We're 25 turns till we get the next weapon, which is a, an eternity. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to push for that because I want to look at adding weapons to our ships the next turn. I'm going to find out what that's like to design a fleet. So, in the meantime, um, I'm finding this to be a fascinating little strategy game. Uh, definitely meets the pocket captain's uh, criteria. Space, strategy, combat, and it fits in my pocket. So, who you can't go wrong. So, so far, so great for uh, Starbase Orion. I'm a little ashamed I didn't look at it sooner. My bad. I should have had a little more courage to open up something new. And I'm hoping you guys uh, take a crack at opening up something new, too. And uh, maybe trying something and finding something amazing. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this as I bumble and stumble in the dark. But it's been fun. And as I like to say, it's important to try to have a little bit of fun every day. Thank you very much for listening, everybody. And good night. Get more tips at pocketcaptains.com.